bit, but first I want to show you a couple of things. Tum tum tum. I'm here to pick up my stuff now. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. From Florida. Doesn't that make the car go faster with two extra turbos in the back? Why so serious? You will have to find another disc, as you can see. Oh. So, but you're not happy to see me again? Very. Good. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, cameras. And definitely a good morning, judging from the weather. The sky is blue, the sun is shining. You can hear some cars driving outside, so it's definitely good. I am back at the Nürburgring at Apex, to be precise. Didn't even have a chance to unpack my stuff. I'll do it in a bit, but first I want to show you a couple of things, a couple of updates that have been happening. So yeah, back at the ring. That means you are back as well, because you have to cope with the Nürburgring content. A couple of important updates. First of all, since this vlog is kind of, well, late, I'm still working on catching up with the vlog, so you may have already seen that, the McLaren and GT86. So, Misha, this is what happens when you go away for the weekend. DLT gets delivered back from Stuttgart. The stickers come off the 570. And since everyone had so much fun peeling stickers off the green car, What are you guys doing? <laughs> Making the car pretty again. <laughs> tum tum tum. Don't have any stickers anymore. We discussed it in the vlog when we were picking up the polo. That Robert said, and I kind of agreed that all those wraps already served their purpose. We had an amazing marketing effect, but it became a bit too much. Just letting those bikes pass so uh, they will not interfere with the sound of my vlog. But yeah, it looks... Um, I have to get used to it, to be honest, but I wouldn't say that it's bad. It's not bad, so now we just need to see where we're gonna put the door stickers on because the 570S has this amazing air intake, so um, yeah, probably what they will be here or something. Polo also needs the, um, the stickers as well. I must say that the Polo has been an amazing car. It has been rented out a lot this weekend as I have been away. So it was a very good investment and most importantly you guys whoever has rented out were very positive about the price about the car and About the price and about the car. <laughs> yeah um, Then the GT86 again also doesn't have any stickers anymore It looks a lot more serious. I must say when it was when it had zero stickers at all. It was kind of a um, Yeah, boring and stock and meh but now, without the wrap, but with the wheels, the brake, and most importantly, the wing, it looks serious. It looks cool, and once we have put the door stickers, which would be also gold color matching with the rims, I think it's gonna look kick-ass. Kind of reminds me of John Player's special livery of Ayrton Senna, obviously. Cupra, no updates there. BMW M2, no updates there. Another car which is updated, not talking about Helen's 1 series, not talking about Brian's, a friend of mine who is staying at us. He uh, messaged me like yesterday when I was sitting in an airplane um, on the way to, to Germany. He's like, yeah, I'm suddenly here and I want to stay. I'm like, oh, well, Diana is gone to pick me up from the airport. So I quickly messaged Helen. So she stopped by and gave him the keys to the room, which is quite cool. We're gonna ask him, uh, if he likes it, but he was already satisfied, but I want him to tell it to you. But now, another car, final car, which has received the updates. The cutie, look at the taillights. Diana picked up those blue colored, yeah, taillights, and now it kind of matches, and I would even say blends in with the color of the car. Um, I was expecting to find it real rice, but it's actually not bad. It's kind of stylish. It's kind of stylish. It's kind of cool. Of course, please let us know if you like it or not. Diana is always re reading all the comments as well. Sometimes she replies. So be nice. Not make sure not to offend the little girl. The up. Um, well, last time I picked it up. Picked it up. 
from GRZ because they did all the engineering on it and now the in, um, the suspension is in production so so yeah waiting for it to be produced I guess another two weeks or so we have a guest who are you dude you look really weird your legs like unequal hey get off my up dude well okay you can stay um yeah what else RT is supposed to receive the brakes for the up, endless brakes, endless, that means the car's gonna make stoppies probably. I need to find a solution and I hope maybe some of you guys can help me for the rear because maybe the drum brakes gonna overheat and catch fire at some point because it's just, well, it's not safe. For, for brake purposes, it's perfect. I mean, the car is very light so it, there is not a lot of stress on the rears on the drum discs so drum brakes not discs but the drum brakes so i wouldn't say that i'm concerned about well maybe brake bias distribution that could be a, an issue once we have shit load of braking power with endless pads and uh, um, some other brand discs but yeah you, you get my point but if any one of you knows what we can do for the rear Maybe put something from the Polo, I don't know, speaking of the Polo, it, it's already sold, but I told you that already. And it's getting picked up on Friday, and today is Wednesday. Then, finally, after the madness of 24 hours and Rock and Ring, because there are a shitload of people, I didn't film that, but the, the, the stupidest thing, because yesterday the, the vlog was released of Rock and Ring, and people asked, like, if I survived, then what was the craziest, the craziest shit. Or should I even say the craziest pee I have seen were two girls, yes, girls, not even guys, who came here to the to the parking and start peeing right on the parking lot. And I was in the um, in the barn because I saw some light coming out there, but it was just light coming through the barn from the back of the barn. So I thought maybe someone is camping there. So I went to look inside. There was nothing. Come back and then suddenly I see two chicks sitting there and peeing. I'm like, what the fuck are you? sorry yeah someone commented i was dropping too many f-bombs so i'm trying to watch my language now because apparently a lot of kids are watching um yeah although my average of my audience is between 25 and 35 years old more than 50 percent of them so i would think that they can handle it but since apparently a lot of kids are watching with them so i'm gonna try to reduce the swearing from now on but anyway there were two i cannot even say ladies not even girls because if you, if you just come and pee on a parking lot and then I was like, excuse me, what the hell are you doing? She's like, move on, keep on walking, it's none of your business. I'm like, sorry, none of my business, you are at my house. You know, some people are still alive because it's illegal to kill them. Or in this case, some girls are unbruised because as a man, you're not allowed to hit them. Ah. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you is after the madness of 24 hours in Rockham Ring, the construction works on Club Apex have finally started again. So in the last couple of days, I believe they have been tearing down, well, cleaning all the walls from the loose material, loose stones and such. And then I guess they start doing that on the inside too. Yep. Looks very nice, looks very nice. Um, bit of a lunch break for the guys, so I will not disturb them and show it to you later. Now, in the meantime, as I was calling, a couple of updates have happened, a couple of changes. There, Kemmler copy system, eh? or, well, copy, copy system. So, finally, 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 after many, many, many weeks, let's say, well, almost a month after Apex has been finished, we have received our copy machine, so now I will not have to go to Atomic or Rent for Ring anymore and be like a homeless guy saying, like, hey, can I use a printer? Can I print some stuff? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, it's a big and professional thing. That's really cool. Whoa, almost an iPad. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> really cool, nice. And um, the most advanced thing about it, what Robert has told me, that he is using their service as well. The printer is connected to, to the internet and it senses 
when the cartridge is that the right word the toner when the toner is almost empty and it sends the message to the printer company and they automatically deliver a new toner and we already have one in stock so we put a new one in stock and once we put new one in stock already before that uh, i mean in, in the printer it they already send a new one so a very advanced system so just a piece of advertising in case you're in germany you can look them up this is something what was always a pain in the ass you know you want to print something and then suddenly oh, it's empty and then you're you're screwed oh, nice corvette but now final part my friend brian with his new seat arosa he's a second owner just picked up the car st stayed at our hotel so how did you like it really good really good that's what i like to <laughs> yeah he actually told me that he hasn't slept this good in weeks in a long time <laughs> yeah, yeah so that's good to hear cool you this by the way he earned it he was on the track with his Arosa. Again, one of the proofs that you don't need a fancy flashy car or something. If you want to lap the Nürburgring, anything will do. And it was your first time on the track ever, right? Ever, yeah. ever on the Nürburgring. So again, if you just use your own brain, don't do stupid stuff, don't try to show off, everything will be totally fine. Oh, Dutch Arosa. Yeah. Well, you have an Instagram page for the car? <laughs> oh, cool. Well, make sure to follow Dutch Arosa. Um, he also made some pictures of our rooms, so because we need to update our booking.com profile because right now all the pictures that are there were made by Diana on her phone, which is kind of okay, but not as perfect. He's making a lot of other cool shots, like of cars and such. Yeah. Uh, he actually wanted to make pictures of the cars, but I said, you know what, rooms is a lot more interesting for us. And what distinguishes him from my other friend photographers is that you do a lot of party, right? Mm -hmm. Party photography. So a lot of Dutch yeah. artists. A lot of hello, friends. <laughs> hello. hello, how are you doing? I'm very fine. That's very good. <laughs> um, yeah, well, okay, this was it for this long, very long introduction shot. Let's head out to the track because there's a track day going on. And let's see if we can do quick some car spotting. And after that, we have TF. I need to go out. I want to hit the track again. And we have some customers and so on and so on. So stay tuned for the stuff which is about to happen. Well, after a few days of rest, it's time to wake up. So, yeah, arrived at TF Car Park and more precise a track day organized by trackdays.de. Good friends of mine, I visited them earlier this year at Spa where I drove the Ring Freaks car. I don't remember the name of the vlog, something like track days are expensive and the thumbnail of a crashed Porsche, unfortunately. But something about the organization. Ooh, and first Alfa Romeo 4C driving by and another one as well. I get like some nice flashbacks of the Fuel Faction Tour where we had a 4C on the tour. But anyway, trackdays.de. Although the name suggests .de, point Germany, the participants are, look at that, A, Austria, England, uh, Germany, then over there, Spain. I saw some uh, Finnish participants as well. So also Russians, so it's not really like German-German company. They've been organizing track days for already for over seven years by now. They only do Nürburgring twice a year. Uh, and this is the first time they do this year. The second time is going to be on 30th of August. So after seeing this vlog, and if you think, wow, this is actually quite na a nice atmosphere. There are a lot of advantages to this track day over other track days that I'll show to you in a bit. And you think, oh, I really want to book it. Check out the link in the description below. And I hope to see you there next time. I believe we already have a car going out during that track day. Um, yeah, in August, on 30th of August, because it's going to be actually a track day week from Monday to Friday. It's going to be full with track days. So, yeah, but now let's do some car spotting. Wing game, BMW Power M3. Um, tum, tum, tum. Actually, it's pretty empty. You know why? This is actually quite cool because a lot of cars are obviously out. Uh, lapping the Nürburgring because the weather as you can see it's amazing yeah, it's not yeah. too hot so you cannot overheat your car unless well it's not really set up properly but oh yeah by the way finish license plate finish license plate so again like I told you finish participants as well and here we can already spot some cool the Nismo GTR again all the way from Spain so the Spanish group is nicely represented today really nice really nice and here 
a 996 996 I don't know what it is because it has a custom body work here on it and here as well the air intake so turbo hmm interesting it's kind of GT3 ish spec the air intake for the GT2 or or a turbo and then there's there a turbo so I have no idea what it is it's a manual luckily finish Passat that's a quite interesting car to lap the track there with and here Estonian Estonian something GT3 probably but it's yeah yeah it is it's a GT3 996 and if other countries didn't impress you there's also a car from another continent Look at this, E46 M3 from Florida, US Air Force. That's really uncommon to see here, really uncommon. Very interesting license plate on this 996 as well, and lots of Porsches, 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 Porsches. Technical service done by Raider Motorsport and Manti Racing, which is kinda, if you really want to break it down, it's pretty much the same company. Lots of E36s, mandatory E36 game coming off the track. The GT3 RS, Luxembourg license plate. And now I'm gonna go to the opposite car park and show you what makes this track day again pretty amazing. And this involves my dear friend, Christopher Bartz, who I joined a couple of weeks ago on the VLAN permit training. And in fact, he's providing coaching during the trackdays.de of his with his motorsport academy christopher Hi. how are you doing right, nice well. to see you again yeah. so i was just telling that you are providing support during the strike days yes. you, you can do uh coaching and in the morning you do guided laps yes. as well for uh, i believe you can book it for 200 euros extra including with the price of the well above uh, on top of the price of the track day which is 849 and if you said well this VLAN permit session was amazing. Like we had, we I saw a lot of positive comments. A lot of people really wanted to book it, but yeah, you cannot come over for two full days, or you find it maybe a bit too expensive, or you want to have a look if it's really worth it. That's an amazing opportunity to come here, do an hour of guided training laps with Christopher, and have fun. And again, check out motorsportacademy.de for even more awesome coaching. Well, I'm gonna let you, will not hold you off anymore. You. So, <laughs> see you later. Um, another GTR with the Folk Racing T37 wheels with the interesting color, very interesting color. I appreciate it, really do. Really nice GT3 RS, mandatory with, ooh, where's the license plate? I cannot see it because it's camoed. It's camoed away. Ooh, ooh, what a bad joke, what a bad joke of such a good track day. Oh yeah, here the horsepower. The TF is about to start, so Polo is going out for one lap first, then it comes back, then the next guy is taking it for two more laps. I also have instruction booked for one hour with uh, someone with his own car. Oh, there's the, the converted GT3, the turbo GT3, the GT2, I don't know, something that we've seen earlier today driving by. But yeah. Hopefully I will be done fast enough with the instructions so I can do some laps myself later as well. Okay, and do I just buzz this? Yeah, against the orange knee. Yep, and welcome on the Nürburgring. Watch out, watch out. Just gonna repark it probably. Yep, all good, perfect, thumbs up. The track is clear, no yellow sections. The weather is amazing, you picked a very nice day. How was it? It was awesome. Good. <laughs> good. Happy you enjoyed. Well, I'll see you guys later at Apex. Sounds good. Yeah, perfect. Good. Done instruction time, by the way. One more thing I want to show you. Look at Lucas's uh, Rentec AMG GTS full with stickers. Cannabis. Hmm. Energy drink. But actually, my dear friend, guess who? Guess who? Shmi150 has kind of um, asked him to borrow the car for the start of the street gas rally which they started like i believe on saturday so that's why it is the way it is i guess he will take off the stickers soon let's go pick up diana and go for a lap with the up and can we do some car spotting i don't know well there's a tg86 with uh, nice orange wheels there's a targa i really like targa if I would have to buy a car for myself for a day, I would go for a 991 Mark II Targa probably. Then what else do we have? We have a Citroën uh, C3. That's like really pinnacle of French engineering. 
to go do some laps on the Nova Cream. Wrong way, dude. Wrong way. Yes. Good. Thank you for obeying the Nova Cream parking laws. Hello. Hello. How you doing, guys? You want to go for a lap? I want to, but I'm not going to go with you. Why? <laughs> you go with Lucas, so what? You're not going at all with me. Why? Well, I'll go with you, but after my lap in the KDM. In the KDM? What, Dale? Holy shit. <laughs> I want to go on the KDM. <laughs> okay, okay. You can this is why I'm grinning so much. Yeah. You need to, you my need cheeks are helmet. Then you have, huh? to need to find, you have to find a helmet. Yeah, that's true. They, well. Stop looking at that one, because that's too small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'll, uh, I'll get one later. If only I could have my stuff back from Rain Garage. Well, the episode is coming probably this week about the bullshit. But anyway, um, yeah, I guess I'll just go for a lap all by myself. No, just wait for me. Or if Lucas will ever take me out in the GTS. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> just imagine. You kind of have to now. You kind of have to now. Yeah. yeah. Let me check the brakes first. Okay. Because as you know, I just came back from street gasm and uh, yeah. I didn't check the brakes. Well, I obviously checked them before, but now they are kind of... Kind of. Kind of. Drawing. Okay. Oh, no, I, um, I have car parts in the back. Oh, do you? Yeah. There are okay. Some, some nice turbos. Inside. Oh, can we see? Can we see the turbos? Since we walked here anyway, might as well have a look. Ooh. But doesn't that make the car go faster with two extra turbos in the back? Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, in this case, not because it's not for this car. Okay, but it's extra weight, extra downforce on the back. Okay, let me say this. Uh, <laughs> let's do some nice laps. Uh, once uh, I put some new brakes on the car, because you can film it, they're really ruined. Okay. I don't think it makes really sense. I cannot go that fast. Yeah, they're not the best ones. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, it yeah. would be better and safer. Yeah, okay. We, but we, it's a promise. We're going to do it. Okay, he promised. You heard it here. He promised. We're going to go for... Uh, yeah, for a lap soon. Yeah, because I, I didn't change the brakes because, uh, well, yeah, I yeah. knew that all the mountain passes and everything on street gas and we, we did, yeah. uh, we, uh, they, they would finish the car off. Okay. So now it's time to... I'm gonna see for the, the KTRAM. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, see you. See you. It's a nice driver excuse. It's okay. And now here. What the hell? Look at the way the door opens. So, you're not fitting? Fuck you! Go what? away! <laughs> <laughs> so 7R355 is that the amount of horsepower? Actually, that's, that's only half the amount of horsepower this Does has. Does it have 600? 700 horsepower. 700? Uh, I just I don't want to embarrass anybody, so I only do about 150 k's down the straights. Okay. Because I, I don't want to embarrass people. You know? Okay. I'll be lapping tomorrow as well. Okay, okay we'll do tomorrow. Yeah. At the at the 24 hour layout. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Reliving the nightmare. I mean, yeah. reliving the dream. <laughs> I smell brakes. That's not you, is it? That's not me. We, we don't go fast enough to use the brakes. <laughs> Doesn't sound like 700 horsepower. Ever, How was it? Super fast. Ever. Super fast. Super fast. Okay, let's go for our super fast. You don't want to go with Dill? I don't have helmet. We'll tomorrow. Fire. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I'll tomorrow. Kids, cool. we gotta run. Yes, go. And just a quick look of the Porntastic M3. Yes. Now we can go. Now we can go. Okay. Let's go. Good. So, end of the day, the sun is setting down. Did all the instruction laps. Um, the Polo came back in one piece, which is good. And my door is still open. No, it's not anymore, which is good as well. I guess I'm going to end this vlog here. I will be going to Daniel and Annan to pick up my old stuff, which is still at their place. But now, since I already moved, at a moved in at apex like for over a month by now good evening comrades i hope some of you have the nostalgic feeling when i was starting my vlogs every morning here at daniel sanana's place and this is just a quick shot to remind you of those amazing times because like i told you i'm here to pick up my stuff now <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for everything. Thank you for making 
amazing start of my Nürburgring journey this year. Yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the first vlog since I'm back at the ring since yesterday, so the first, the new day at Nürburgring. Hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, there's a lot of traffic suddenly, so I guess I should better start paying attention and not talking to you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Robert's gonna stop by, we're gonna tell you lots of updates. He's bringing me a new car! He's bringing me a new car, so in tomorrow's vlog. Hi, Yay! Hey. Show, uh, show me your cool new hat. You have another hat? Yeah. And why is that? Because he bought a 218i. You did? So when he bought his new 218, he got a new hat. Okay. Show me the 218, Max. Where's the new BMW? Let's go.